I'm here at Gracie Mansion, where Mayor de Blasio has erected this high fence without getting a permit in order to keep people from looking in. Leaving New Yorkers wondering, what is he hiding? According to the best of my ability. As 2014, the first year of the de Blasio administration comes to an end, it will not come fast enough for the new mayor, who doesn't have many victories to celebrate. His lack of experience and lackadaisical attitude led to a series of missteps and embarrassing blunders. All New Yorkers are hoping that it gets better in 2015 and that we don't continue this downward spiral. I've taken the liberty of drawing up some proposed New Year's resolutions for Mayor de Blasio. I, Bill de Blasio, Mayor of New York City, hereby resolve that in 2015, I will react quickly and efficiently in severe weather situations by making sure the sanitation department removes snow from the city streets without discrimination of any neighborhoods or boroughs, including those on the Upper East Side. Also, during severe weather, act responsibly for all New Yorkers and close New York City public schools instead of putting our children in danger while almost half of the teachers stay home. Refrain from hitting the snooze button and get out of bed to be early or at least on time for meetings. Maintain the discipline necessary to arrive on time for all functions, affairs, press conferences, and memorials, including the 14th anniversary of Flight 587 in Queens. Not fumble the new Staten Island Chuck. Not take over seven months to fill important jobs like Commissioner of Department of Buildings and replace crucial high-level administrative positions quickly. Something's really wrong here. Not say dumb things. For instance, I said case closed when questioned about Rachel Nordlinger, and then I had to fire her. Not make any more promises I can't keep, like saying I would ban carriage horses on day one. Actually, visit the horse carriage stables to see how the horses are treated. These horses are well cared for. The mayor wants to replace them with electric cars. Show police and firefighters the same kind of love I gave to the teachers union in their new contract. Never again pick a fight with Eva Moskowitz over charter schools. Quit stalling and develop a real plan to fix the city's 250 failing schools. Open up Gracie Mansion for tours like I promised to do by last September. Give up all attempts to raise taxes that must be approved by Governor Cuomo, like my current idea to tax high-end apartments. Admit that the dump on the Upper East Side is a bad idea and contrary to my Vision Zero initiative, and then figure out how in the world this got passed while there are multiple miles of non-residential abandoned and vacant locations on the West Side. I will work hard to fix the frightening numbers of homeless people in New York City, which has grown to a crisis level over the last 10 months. I will refrain from self-appointing any more family members to non-existent unelected official government positions. I will remember that I work for the people of New York and lead this city by example and exude transparency and an ethical culture. Have my staff fix this poster that shows pedestrians crossing against the light and not looking in the right direction. Strive for better Halloween costumes. Try not to use Dante every time I get in a jam. Put off the urge to work out instead of attending the funeral of a prominent and revered politician like Herman Badillo. So here's to a happy new year in 2015 and hoping that Bill de Blasio can show some maturity, leadership, and discipline to achieve his ambitious resolutions. Thank <laughs> you.